hecho, ustedes los recomiendan con un lugar donde puedan recibir tratamientos médicos. Entonces, si un niño tiene problemas médicos. Exactamente. Now, what is the, when does Texas law say a child can leave the house? I mean, is it 14? Is it 21? I mean, we hear all these different dates for different laws, depending on whether it's state laws or federal laws. ¿Qué, qué es la edad que un niño puede salir de la casa sin tener problema? Sí, en, en, la, en Texas la edad es 18 años, pero if a child leaves at the age of 16, the parents can report them as a runaway. If they're, the child is 17 or over, the parent cannot report them as a runaway, but they can report them as missing. So there is a, a difference between calling them in as a runaway versus missing. So un niño de 16 y más joven, un padre tejano lo puede reportar como escapado. Sí. Okay. Pero si tiene 17 años, nomás lo pueden reportar como un, un niño que no sabe dónde está. Exactamente. Now, does the state have the right to go and, and pick up these children that are runaways? Uh, for the Texas Runaway Hotline, we do not have that authority to pick up the children. Um, it's dependent on the, the different uh, law enforcement agencies. So, in, in unos municipios, la policía sí levanta a los niños, y en otros, polici en otros municipios, el, el, la policía no los levanta, ¿verdad? Sí. Well, tell me about a typical phone call. I mean, I, I'm, I'm interested. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I might even volunteer. Um, I mean, I've got children, and, and I'd hate to think of them running away from home, um, sleeping under a bridge, I mean, panhandling for money. Tell, tell me about a typical phone call. Sí. Well, la línea directa necesita gente um, que contesta las llamadas. And the, a typical phone call, again, would be from, from a, a young person who doesn't know what to do, is, is facing a variety of issues, some may be which um, sexual identity. They're confused and they are afraid to talk to others because of the biases and the judgment that they may make. When they call us, the barriers go down because we can't see them and they know that, that we're here specifically, exclusively for them. And we feel that when a youth can call this hotline mm -hmm. and we wouldn't be able to trace the phone call or we wouldn't be able to to find out where they were, it, it alleviates the pressure that they have and they feel more open to, to communicate and try to talk things over. So, es que decir que tienen una variedad de preguntas. Exactly. No es un solo no. problema. Well, y, 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 y porque es confidencial, confíen en ustedes. They believe in you because it's confidential. Es correcto. Well, well that's, that's cool. How do people volunteer? I mean, you must need, you've got, how many volunteers do you have here? Right now it's between 80 and 100. Right. And we're very Great. fortunate to have that volunteer pool. We are always looking for, for volunteers, mature individuals um, who are dependable, reliable, and who do, who do want to make a difference in the community. Where do your typical volunteers come from? They come from a variety of areas. Um, as we had mentioned, we get a lot of UT students and we get a lot of retired individuals. Just the working force can donate their time. We ask three hours um, per shift. And it can be a shift of their choice. It can be on a weekend, it could be on a week, on an evening, a weekday. It's dependent upon uh, the volunteer and what would fit into their schedule. So we're extremely flexible. Well, that's good. So, ustedes reciben voluntarios en todos niveles de la comunidad, de todas las áreas. Hay, hay abogados, I imagine there's lawyers, you know, the volunteer and, and retired teachers and students. Well, that's, that's great. Now, ¿qué tipo de entrenamiento, what training do these volunteers get? Los voluntarios reciben 40 horas de entrenamiento especializado y within those 40 hours um, they receive classroom training, um, how to hand handle crisis calls, maybe some suicide phone calls, and they do get to do some observation with other telephone counselors handling phone calls and a lot of um, time to, to see how the crisis line works. Okay, so es que decir que tienen oportunidad a ver otros personas ya entrenado con experiencia recibiendo los, la, las llamadas, ¿verdad? Es correcto. Y, y and they also, now, suicide calls, that's uh, scary. I mean, y'all actually get children, si hay niños que hablan a ustedes and, and están pensando del suicidio? Yes, we do. 
it's a difficult call. Uh, we are grateful that, that there's volunteers there to answer that phone call when that phone call does come in. And when it does happen, we, we talk them through it, you know, and, and make sure that, um, that, you know, that they're in a safe place and they don't intend to harm themselves at that moment. And um, it's been very positive. We've had callers who have contemplated suicide and who have, you know, have seen light and have, you know, changed their, their thoughts. So, pensando de suicidio, ustedes los pueden salvar. You can save them. We'd you like can, to think so. We'd like to think so. Well, I don't know. I mean, you're here, you're the coordinator of volunteers. And I think uh, I'd like to give you one more opportunity to, to ask for volunteers. Um, do it right here. Tell them how to get a hold of you and how to volunteer. What's the procedure? No más llama me por uno ocho 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 cinco ochenta cuarenta tres cincuenta siete para más información. Okay, do you all mail them out a little package of information or los manda algo especial? Yes, they can um, call me directly, they can ask for me, and I will talk with them over the phone, and I will mail them a packet of information, and once we receive that information, we will be contacting them for our next training session. So, see, ustedes, it doesn't matter who's, what the primary language is, if somebody speaks only Spanish and they want to volunteer, they we can... Exactly, we encourage that, and the, the youth will benefit from it as well. Do you need Spanish-speaking volunteers? We do. Okay. We do. Well, I'm going to see if I can't get you some, okay? Now, ustedes que hablan muy bien el español, que son maduros, um, quizás ya han crecido sus hijos, ya tienes experiencia con los problemas de juveniles, juveniles. ustedes tienen el tiempo, tres horas al mes es todo lo que necesitan uh, de servicio, y quizás usted puede hacer un cambio en la vida de un juvenil en crisis, quizás no todas las llamadas van a ser emergencias del you know, con el niño pensando de suicidio, pero los niños sí llaman a este número porque necesitan ayuda como lo suyo. Soy el abogado Tomás Esparza, dándole las gracias por estar con nosotros y dándole las gracias a Audrey Rodríguez del Servicio de Protección del Gobierno del Estado de Texas, que nos, que nos explicó The Texas Runaway Hotline. You know, para niños que han salido de la casa, corrido de la casa, o que fueron echados de la casa. Espero que ustedes están con nosotros la próxima vez. Hasta luego.